One thing I will say is that editing me is really happy right now. And I've probably said it for the last three videos, but still, I have not had to change the layout, which has made my life so unbelievably simple and easy, and it's pretty awesome. So hopefully we get through the Fortree Gem unscathed. I know I'm a little bit underleveled, but what I like about my team is that my utility is so high right now. So I'm super, super excited about that. But we're here, we're in the Fortree Gem. We're ready to roll. I'm gonna go ahead and battle this guy, because I can. He's got a Dezumeril. I'm gonna hit Psybeam. Dezumeril's a bulky boy. I've got Thunderbolt, so I'm going to use Thunderbolt here. And I'm going to try to slow down and be as safe as I possibly can. I believe Winona's ace is a 36. 36 is her ace, I believe. So I've got to find a way to work with that, okay? Took down that first trainer easily. And I remember all of these are kind of puzzles. You're forced into a lot of double battles here that you don't want to be forced into, but you don't really have a choice. I'm going to Blast Burn you. And I'm going to try for a Hydro Pump. It might not land. You detect it anyway, but I got the Blast Burn off. A Mantine. I'm going to go for the EQ. Oh, that's going to hit Nosy, but it won't kill him. It'll be fine. Yeah. A risk if Mantine hits me. Didn't. I'm not Earthquaking again. Psybeam the Mantine. And let's fly up. Let's go up in the air. Let's go up in the air. That did not do a lot. We're going up in the air. Good choice. Good choice. He was going to spore me and I was going to have to switch anyway. Jump kick two. Oh, man. Kept going and crashed. Uh, let's go with the side beam again on the Mantine. And hopefully this fly hits the Gardevoir hard. I don't know how hard it would hit, but I'm sure it'll do like half. Gardevoir is not a big physical defender. It did a lot more than I thought. He was smart, he switched targets in which he spored. Wing attack will finish the Gardevoir here. Down it goes. And then an Eevee. I'm gonna Surf, because that should kill both. And I'm gonna Wing attack the Eevee in case the Eevee doesn't die. And the Surf should finish, it did not. That's fine, it'll do it now. Gone, see ya, gone, see ya. Pretty easy, pretty painless. Another double. I know this vile plume doesn't have anything. <laughs> I don't have to be worried about that thing. Oh, Nosy's asleep. Why didn't I think that part through? All right, can we try that one more time? I don't care. Do it. It worked. That was the right decision. You want to learn memento? Doesn't that like kill you? Yeah. Um, just because of the fact that um, memento kills me. I will not teach it to my Pokemon, even as a parting gift in case he dies, because I know I'm going to click it on accident once. <gasps> oh, I thought he was using Psychic or something. Nosy needs to go. He used Amnesia. I got to get my Psychic type out. And then uh, Surf, I guess. It's neutral damage to both. Let's go for the Surf. He pedal danced. Oh my god, that's a Mewtwo pedal dancing. It's okay. It was LeBron. It was LeBron. No! No! Just said how happy editing me was. I put so many resources into LeBron, man. I put so many resources into him. Ah, oh, and it was a crit too. I feel like he would have lived a normal hit. LeBron was literally the best thing I had, and this is a bulky team too, man. <sighs> what do I do? What do I do? Mewtwo's got to go. I don't think Cradle is a threat offensively. Mewtwo's got to go. Should I fire spin the Cradle and get that residual damage? Probably. Turtle will live. Turtle will live. Turtle lives. Turtle lives. Turtle lives. Turtle lives. Okay. That's what I thought. It was the crit, man. It was the crit the whole time. I knew it. It had to be the crit. Now that he's locked into Petal Dance, though, I can be smart about who I switch into. I'm so glad you hit y'all. Yeah, still did a good bit. Oh, he's confused now, though. He's not locked into pedal, spin, pedal dance. I'm going to extreme speed it then, and it'll just die. Yeah, extreme speed it, and then I'm going to switch anyway, but I'm extreme speeded it, so it'll die. Goodbye. <sighs> I got to put somebody I knew on my party for the battle. And the problem is, I can't, as I mentioned before, I can't use any of my, my uh, fire types. And in my opinion, that actually really hurts me, not being able to use fire. Crunch. All right, he's dead. 
<sighs> what a disappointment. Out of everybody too, man, I thought LeBron was going to make it the whole way with me. I really did. I thought LeBron was going to make it the whole way. I think Turtle's now the oldest member I have on my team. Yeah, he is. Turtle's the oldest member I have on my team. I got to put some items in item storage, by the way. Um, I gotta put, I gotta go item storage. I just have too much stuff on me. And like, this is stuff like green shards. Um, stuff that I like know that I won't use anytime soon, but might need eventually. I want to keep that, you know, keep any of this stuff. Red shard. Um, ethers obviously I need. You never know when you need this stuff in a pinch. So I'm going to keep all of this stuff. That's probably everything. Yeah, I want to keep everything else, but I did make a little bit of space, so that's fine. Made a little space. Oh, I need a new Pokemon. All right. Uh, let's take that Quick Claw off of him. Yeah, this makes me so sad that LeBron's gone, bro. LeBron, man. He was my... Uh, man, he was so good, too. He was such a good Pokemon, man. All right, so... I think for Alligator would be nice, but as I mentioned, I just I have too much water. I can't do another water. I could do Regirock. I could do Malphite here. Or I was thinking about the Trico as well. Because the Trico has a good moveset. A really good moveset. I like the Trico a lot. Low level, so I'd put the experience share on him and let him, you know, do his thing. But can Iron do it? I've got the type coverage for water because of him, which is something I haven't had. And I have the type coverage. Who would give me a type coverage against Dragon? Dragon or Ice, right? Those are the only two? Yeah, Dragon or Ice. Nobody's got Ice. I think Ivern's probably the best choice here to add to my team. Yeah, he is. He's the best choice. And I'm going to give him the experience share. So that he can start leveling up. And then at some point, if he doesn't catch up on his own... I will uh, basically just level off screen. I got a whole bunch of trainers I skipped. So uh, I'll do some extra leveling off screen if I have to, because we have some boss battles coming up, a lot of them. So we'll just have to see how that goes. Did I mention I was freezing, by the way? I mentioned it last video. Well, guess what? This is the same recording session. I do not take, uh, I do not ever record more than like two or three videos at a time. So I always, always, always am, am doing that. Uh, it's just a lot easier to do it all in bulk. I work a full-time job, and when I say full-time, I mean I work longer hours than the full-time job. And uh, it's very exhausting at times, and also doesn't give me a whole lot of time to do things I want to do, but when I have time to do so, I do it. Simple as that, right? Um, so here's the, here we go. So Winona, as I mentioned, Ace is level 36. I think a smart start is full battle. Because Steel has so many resistances, so I should be able to be safe unless she sends out something that I know has fire moves. All right, Winona. Now, what I've noticed as the game has gone by is a lot of Pokemon have better moves and more stab moves. Early on, there was just that essence of unknown and the fact that all my Pokemon were such low level and so susceptible to taking a lot of damage that it made it difficult. But over time, it's gotten a lot easier based on the fact that these Pokemon are higher level and my Pokemon are higher level and they can take a hit. Lilip, though, is going to be an annoying thing to deal with. For sure. I'm going to EQ it. Okay. Cross chop. But you're a little leap, so it does no damage. And my leftovers will probably heal all seven of that up. Am I right or am I right? Nope. Five. Let's EQ it again. And then she'll probably heal. Uh, I think I think gym leaders get like two heals. So, oh, you have milk drink. That's actually kind of good on the leap. Because the leap, um, as well as Cradle Leap, they, they, they get amnesia in their moveset. As I mentioned, with if, as I saw with that other Cradle Leap period, uh, earlier. So you amnesia, and then you have cross drop for damage if absolutely necessary. Um, which I believe has a high critical chance, uh, a high critical hit ratio. And then you amnesia, and then you milk drink, and you keep yourself healed. A very interesting strategy. And it's actually kind of underrated in my personal opinion. I would say very underrated, in my personal opinion. I like that. Alright. Come on. Come on, man, with the milk drink. Really? Like, this is... I've used five earthquakes on this thing. Oh my god, if you do it... Okay, finally. 
I almost, I, now the thing is, I'm almost out of Earthquake, so that's the only move I have to win. That's going to be a problem. I know I have it as well on Jaw. And then you think about, like, a Tauros is coming out. Like, obviously, against a Tauros, I want to stay in on Full Metal. Because he's my bulky boy. It's those 29 Tauros. On the right side, Leftovers has kept me entirely healed. I haven't had to do anything. But I've got one wing attack, uh, one earthquake left, so I have to wing attack him. Oh no! This is the scariest Tauros I've ever seen. You can give Tauros Dragon Dance. Okay, that was a crit though. I don't want to fly. Would fly kill? Fly would kill. Fly would kill. Spark! Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's not a physical move in this gen. It's not a physical move in this gen, but I am paralyzed, and now I can't move. Try it again. I think I think he might only have special moves despite the fact that he had Dragon Dance, guys. What's he gonna do? He tried Spark again. He only has special moves. I caught a lucky break. I caught a very lucky break there. Yeah, Ivor, get up to level 18. He's gonna evolve. An Espeon. Psychic has another thing I don't have coverage for. My team does not have the coverages that I feel like it needs. In certain situations, it's really rough. But I don't have any coverage for that. So I just have to hope he's not going to body me, because Espeon's a very strong special attacker. Just to make everything worse, you know? Can I surf it? I guess I surf it here. Snatch. Does it take my item? Waits for the target to take a move. What does that do? What does that do? I've never seen that move before. It didn't do anything. Oh no! It's just a shock, it's just a shock, it's not a bolt. You're fine. You are fine! <sighs> Two paralysis in a row, man. Come on. What are we doing? Why are we doing it? Why? Go ahead, shock me again, that's fine. Goodbye. Off my screen. Turn, put your ace in already. Put your ace in. A Cedra. Na, 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 na. Two left. Is this the ace? Nope. I think she's saving it for last. I think that, I want to say the ace is 36. And if it's not, then I feel like I... Something's up with the levels here. But I don't know. I one-shot it. It's a Cedra. What do you expect me to do? An Exploud. That's probably the ace. And that's a strong Pokemon. I'm just going to go normal on normal combat here. It wouldn't be such a big level increase. It's probably like 33. I bet you it's 33. It is 33. I don't know why I was thinking 36. That's okay. Let's go for the extreme speed here. Can I get it half? I did. I got over half. Mirror move! I did not know we had that. I'm not bulky and X-Plot is very strong. He has speed boost. But guess what? Guess what? I have extreme speed. Why was I so worried? That did nothing to me. That tickled my jaw, man. Tickled him. Tickled him. TM40 is rollout in this one. I'm not using rollout. I don't have... I mean, maybe on the Regirock? Could I have a stab move on the Regirock? Yeah. That's Scott. I'm tired of this guy, Scott. Can he stop calling me? Why is he so interested in me? Is that that That's a little questionable to me. That's a little questionable. This guy named Scott is interested in a 10-year-old. Am I not the only one that seems a little sussed out by that? I can, it can't just be me. It cannot just be me that's sussed out about that. Right? That just wouldn't make any sense, right? It's a little weird. It's a little, it's a little, little, little bit, a little bit weird. All right, come on, let's let's get rolling. Let's get rolling. I would I would have taken the Poliwag. I would have taken the Poliwag for sure. I would have I would have I would have got that Pokemon happily. Alright, we're going to just do these battles one by one real quick. Make quick work of them. Get some levels for my team. Alright. Done. Uh, try attack. I burned it. Armaldo. Water pulse it. Gone. Give me the Carbos. That's a speed item, I think. Yes, so who is my fastest Pokemon? It's probably also Jaw. 56, 70, no, Jaw is slow. 47, 
Is it actually? Really? I think Grovile's a fast Pokemon, though. I think Grove. I think Sceptile's a fast Pokemon. Let's just do it. Let's go, Ivern. My man Ivern's getting it done today. I know it. Oh, I'm so intimidated by that Caterpie. I'm so intimidated. Alright. Water Pulse you. Goodbye. See yous. And then go this way. And then we're here. And then go down. And then here. I think this is an item I didn't need, but I'm, now I'm going to grab it since I have the open slot, I guess. I'm probably going to regret that later, but I just need to go to the Martin and just sell stuff anyway. So I battled you and I got the encounter. Okay, so now Rossberry, a Spareberry, Perzenberry, Chestoberry. Hey, you want to battle me? A Breeder, Tristan. Can I, can I, hold on a second. Everybody look at this pixelated whatever on the screen. Why are her boobs so big? This is a kid's game. Well, it's not a kid's game, but it's like a game that's like E for everyone. And they give this girl gigantic breasts. I guess that's being realistic. But like, dude, it's not actually realistic. Not every woman has giant breasts. But you know what? That's what it did. Okay? I don't understand why. And I'm sure there's some people in the comment section that would say you would be one to look. Um, please don't say that. But at the end of the day, I don't really care. I, I feel like they are ridiculously big. Like, look at that. Why are they so big? And she's got, like, the hourglass figure. And, and, they, and like, every single woman in this game looks like that. Like, like it's not just one-off. Like, I get that some women actually look like that. It's not a one-off. It's not, like, some one-off. Like... Every single woman in this game looks like that. So, I just thought that was that was interesting, okay? That's all. Um, that's a dupe. Am I in a new route? Okay, I'm not. I, I got worried for a second. I was like, what the heck? A new route. This is... That's right. Okay, so I can get in an encounter in 122 right here. Got one. Sneasel. Okay, I'll take a Sneasel. I like Sneasel, actually, as a Pokemon. It's not bad. And I caught it immediately. Uh, do I stick with the League of Legends theme? And I do. Katarina. That's Katarina for sure, with all the blades. The blades for the hands. I'm not going to Mount Pyre till I heal. But we're in 121. We've got the Safari Zone coming up, but I think I can't go there yet. No, you can, I think, in this game. I'm going to find out here for sure in a minute. We're going to switch out of Snek here because that's just a little too dangerous. And we're going to Psybeam the Swalot. He hit me with something, but it's probably not going to kill me. Uh, I guess I'm going to Strength you. probably didn't make the right choice switching into uh, Jaw here, but he still did a good bit of damage, so it's fine. All right, easy. I think you can just go right to the Safari Zone, right? You just pay for it, right? Yeah, you can. Oh, no, I need a Pokeblock case. Okay, so I got to go to Lily Cove first, then. I know exactly where to get it. I just have to get it. Let's get all these items, too. Something I used to do is, like, skip these battles, but, you know, I want the items, so I'm going to get the items. All right, Jaw's going to come out. Strength. Loudred, Strength. Duskull. I can't hit Duskull. Should have thought that part through, shouldn't I have? Down you go. Fire Spin. Fire Spin again. Surf, finally. Charmander, Surf. You have way too many Pokemon, bro. They both have some. This was almost a double battle I was forced into. Or wait, if you're forced into this double battle, do they only have three each? I think that was the idea that they were trying to go for, is they, they have three each. I hope that's what that was supposed to be. Because otherwise, could you imagine being forced into that? I would have a fit. Yeah, because there's no way the game can, can can comprehend someone having 12 Pokemon, right? I would think. Like a 12 Pokemon battle. I think I think it's it's set up to be a potential double for that reason. That would make sense to me at least. Jaw, you're way too high of a level. An awakening. And you never know when I need it though. You never know when I need it. So let's get rid of this revival herb. 
Or maybe it's impossible to double battle that. I don't know. I really don't. Blaziken. I'm going to surf it. You have fire spin as well. But you're dead, so it doesn't matter. What level is the Grovile already? 26? Man, he's going he's gonna to be acclimated so fast. I got another elixir. I'll take that. Let's run from this. I really need to heal, though. I feel like I desperately need to heal. And these Persians are so fast. Who did I say that? Who did I find out the fastest Pokemon I had was? Well, it was Nosy. Nosy was the fastest Pokemon I had. I still don't know why, but he was. You don't turn, so I can run by you. I'm gonna have to battle you, though. You're a rich kid, though. You're gonna give me a lot of money. Right, you're dead. And a Dunsparce. Not worried about that at all. Tail Glow. But he hit himself in confusion. Okay, actually, how do you, how, how to make Dunsparce relevant? Give him Tail Glow. And then all of a sudden, he's really powerful and has good defense. I think that's actually a really underrated thing. If I see a Dunsparce, I'm going to get so hyped. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it. The second something dies, I'm going to use the Dunsparce. I just think it would be really cool to have Tail Glow on a Dunsparce. I'm definitely getting a Dunsparce. If I if I if I if I can if I can get one, I'm gonna be really excited about it. All right, we healed up. We're all good. We're all good. We're gonna get a Pokeblock case. All right, we're gonna get a Pokeblock case. I think I just talked to one of you, don't I? And I got one. Exit. Thank you for the case. That's all I came here for. I'm good. Oh, that's right. Somebody is here. Okay. Well, with that being said, it's a good stopping point, right? In the next video, we're going to win another rival battle. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to do it right now. See you then.